Hello everyone, that's here back again with another video and today we're going to cover Ambassador ROM version 2.0 or basically 8.0, it depends on where you're coming from. So if you're having a Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, this is going to be version 2.0 and if you have Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, it's going to be version 8.0. So to go into the software information, you can see that it is based on Android 7.0, Samsung Experience version 8.1, for the S7 and S7 Edge it comes with Budstock kernel version 1.4.5 and for S8 and S8 Plus you have uh, the stock Samsung kernel but as well you can uh, flash whatever kernel you want and uh, you have the 1st of December Android security patch which is uh, something really nice. So uh, to go right into the change walk, let's go to my Samsung notes. You can see that uh, right now it, uh, it is added support for the S7 and S7 Edge. Stock kernel is default for S8 and S8 Plus, 1.4 as I just told you is for the S7 and S7 Edge. Navbar is disabled by default for S7 and S7 Edge. And uh, just a couple of apps has been updated. So uh, one really important thing, while installing this ROM, you have the option to choose sound mode. So uh, I think it was something like Aira sound mode. Don't choose it because if you choose it, you won't have any audio on your phone. So be sure to not choose this, um, this mode and uh, you can just flash whatever the speaker mode you have. So uh, it will be working, but uh, don't flash the one that is right into the uh, ROM control. Not ROM control, but uh, during the installation process. So, so far I've been using this ROM for something like two hours and uh, it's been perfect. I'm coming from stock S7 software. So, uh, which is really optimized and has, has been working uh, really good for me. So uh, over here, I uh, feel no difference into the responsiveness of the phone. And even I think that some applications open even faster than they were opening before. So uh, it is worth trying. Uh, it is a really nice ROM. So uh, if you're wondering what to flash, flash this thing over here. I can't talk about battery life because uh, as I told you, I've been using it for something like two hours. So uh, after, uh, before one hour I actually restarted it. So you can see for one hour of uh, using it I have 43 minutes of screen on time. But I don't really know how much percentage it has drained. So uh, probably I'll do a follow up on this one. And as well after all the applications go into the always sleeping app. So I'll add here something like messenger and snapchat which drain a lot of battery. So there will be a follow up. So if you want to see it, be sure to click that subscribe button. This ROM is worth it. Install it. Leave a comment if you have any question into the description below. Download link will be into the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Peace.